Okay, Lyle, just a, a quick intro. Who am I talking to? Who are you? Yeah, I'm Lyle Thompson. I joined the Air Force in 1958, of 17 and a half, and I stayed until I was 50, uh, which is 33 and a half years, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it, yeah. I was in the air traffic control and operations branch of the service, uh, but half time between each, seven in control towers, uh, air traffic centers, Singapore, Middle East, Germany, uh, and in operations rooms as a NCO, senior NCO in, the, in operations room before I moved on to uh, helicopters. But okay. In between all that time there was a wide variety of work, you know, between fixed wing and search and rescue and all sorts of aircraft. What made you want to, to join the, the Air Force? Just always had a fascination for aeroplanes, that was it really, just aircraft. Always loved the idea of it. Didn't particularly want to fly initially, but managed it in the long run, yeah. You, you were brought up in uh, Scotland? In Scotland, yeah. yeah. Where, where did you end up and how did you find that sort of change of boy to man experience? Well, I, it was while I was at school, we did a school trip to Schoon Airfield at Perth. And in the control room there, in the, the, the tower, the uh, chap let me fire a very pistol and spoke to the aircraft and things like that. And that was what got me interested in the job and then I, I joined the air cadets and used to go off and uh, do bits and pieces at airfields for summer camps and gliding and things like that and always got interested in the control tower work and that was what I went into. What's your early recollections of that, the training, the, those first few months? Ah, uh, it was a bit different to, you know, being an, an air cadet. It, it was entirely different, really. The um, more serious, if you like, you know, everything was there for a purpose. Uh, the air traffic training was uh, intense. In those days, it was a four week course that you did and you became an ops clerk. And then you went off to an airfield and six months later, you became an LEC and after a year, when you did an exam, senior air craftsman, and I'd done just almost two and a half years and I was promoted to corporal. And that was when I was working in uh, Singapore in the Far East at the civil airport in the, the Joint Air Traffic Centre. And uh, weekends we did some work in the control tower as well. What was it like? Where, where was your first posting? First posting was 26 miles from home because I was only 17 and a half and I was still classed as being in boys service so I only had boys pay for the first six months and then when I was 18 I uh, went on to man's pay and uh, then I was qualified then to be able to go overseas you weren't allowed to go overseas until you were over 18 and I was 18 well coming up towards 19 when I first went to the Far East went out on a troop ship, which we don't do now, but that was also interesting. Yeah, mainly army guys on it. But, uh, the further you got away from the UK and people got off, the more jobs you had on, on board ship, like cleaning the, the brass and scrubbing the deck and different things. But I was lucky. I worked in the, some army chap said, oh, you're a clerk, because it was called Ops Clerks. And I ended up in the ship's... Uh, newspaper office, doing the newspaper and things. So I had the full uh, run of the ship, if you like, whereas the guy, most of the guys were sort of restricted in the area. I could always get around, you know, carrying a bit of paper, the old thing. If you want to do something, wander around with a bit of paper in your hand. So that was interesting, and that's where I first got an interest in ships and sailing, which became a hobby.